Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here. We're gonna be showing you a big old Thrive haul today. I ordered over $200 worth of stuff on Thrive. I haven't shopped there in a couple of weeks. I've been a little bit busy. We've been in newborn heaven over here. This is Isla. I just gave birth to her 11 days ago now. So I'm 11 days postpartum. She is just a doll. She is seriously so sweet. We love her so much, don't we? Yes, tell them, baby. And Logan is absolutely loving his little sister. So that's been amazing as well. Let's get on into the video. If you guys have never shopped with Thrive Market before, you are totally missing out, especially for times like these. Like if you're postpartum, if you just don't even want to get out to a grocery store, if you're busy with work, whatever it may be, Thrive is definitely the place for you to be shopping. Tons of more healthy options, and it comes right to your doorstep and pretty darn fast too. I ordered this three days ago. It came yesterday. It was only two days for processing and shipping. And these are massive boxes that are coming in the mail. So I'm super impressed with their shipping times. They're really, really quick. Their customer service is great. The mission behind their company is incredible as well. Anytime that you purchase a membership, they send a free one to either local first responders, teachers, or even just someone in the community who needs a membership but can't afford one. You can choose between a one month membership or a one year membership. We do the one year membership because it breaks down to $5 a month and I'm always saving way more than the $5 a month. So it's kind of like, and even, I wouldn't even say an even split because usually on my orders, I'm saving around $75. If you want to join Thrive, consider using my link in the description box below. It just helps support my family and it doesn't come at any extra cost to you guys. And it just means the world to me. Thank you so much for supporting my family. Even if you don't shop through Thrive and you're just watching this video, you're helping me stay at home with my babies and be the one to be there for them and raise them. So thank you guys so much. We love you guys. You're just the the greatest. Oh, anyways, if you do shop with my link in the description box below, it is 25% off your first order plus a free gift. Our free gift when we used this link was a whole box of chomps. I was super impressed by that. Okay, let's jump on in. I'm going to try and jump through this stuff as quickly as I can with you guys. As you can see, two over $200 get you a lot of stuff at Thrive. Some of these things are repeat buys and some of them are new buys that I'm very excited about. So starting over here, we have this lesser evil organic popcorn. We love to see organic popcorn because that's exactly what you're looking for when you look for any kind of corn products this one is in the himalayan sweetness we love this kind it's basically like kettle corn but healthier i love to make a quick little kind of like trail mix and i'll pour some of this popcorn in there do some regular like movie theater popcorn which they have in this brand as well and then i'll put in like some chocolate chips maybe some candy and we'll have like a movie and popcorn night you guys know i hardly ever go in order without ordering something from yum earth these are the organic fruit snacks not much to say about them other than organic means there's no added dyes or anything like that so you're not gonna see red 40 in here or anything along those lines so if you still want to provide like some more fun snacks for your kiddos like fruit snacks this would be a great brand to go with and then along the yum earth line we get these organic pops we didn't quite need these yet but we were gonna need them in a few days these are just great to keep your kiddos busy we love these guys and even us as parents love them next up I've never tried these before they're called Maxine's heavenly peanut butter chocolate chunks and they're soft baked cookies so they also have these in a couple of different flavors there's like a cinnamon oatmeal one that I almost got it's like oatmeal raisin and then like a chocolate chip one we're very excited to try these I will update you over on my Instagram how we like them I have a hospital bag video that will be coming out for you guys very shortly but in my hospital bag I actually brought these with me I ate the entire bag they are so good they're so addicting and they're called the dang Thai rice chips and these ones are in the coconut crunch they have a couple of different flavors this one's super sweet and I do think it comes with like a little bit of crunchy coconut on top. It's so good. You guys just trust me and try them. They are so addicting. This is also a new purchase for us. It's from Yum Earth. I've been waiting so long for these to come back in stock and they finally are back in stock. These are the Yum Earth Giggles, basically the same thing as Skittles, but way better ingredients. So if you guys like Skittles yourselves or you want to share with your kiddos, this would definitely be a way better option for you. If the sour beans are also in stock when you guys go to shop, those are fabulous as well. Next up, we got the Thrive Market brand of the avocado oil potato chips and smoky barbecue i had just kind of been seeing these float around on social media so i thought we'd give them a try if you guys have watched my past few thrive hauls you know that we love this brand of chips i just recently discovered them these are the organic spud love barbecue thick cut potato chips and here's why i love them because they have a little bit of spice to them so they're
they're really like a different type of barbecue chip. I've never had like a little bit of a spicy barbecue chip. I'm saying a little bit of spice because these really are not too spicy. I don't like anything too spicy because then I feel like I can't taste the flavor. These are just the perfect hint of spice. Logie Bear can eat them too. Um, and they're thick cut. The thick cut is just so much different and we love them. Next up, we got this Dr. Bronner's Peppermint All-in-One Toothpaste. We recently have started using the Dr. Bronner's, I think it's like the Baby Castile Soap or whatever because it rates super clean. So I thought we'd go ahead and try their toothpaste. I haven't tried it yet, but it is fluoride free, 70% organic ingredients. Yeah, it's just toothpaste, but I'll let you guys know how we like it. I have heard that it's a little bit different to get used to because it doesn't foam. So we'll have to see how that goes. You can kind of see the bags back here, but I went ahead and grabbed two of the Thrive laundry detergents and one of the Thrive dish detergents. We just love this stuff and you gotta have it on hand, especially with a new baby. If you guys have ever had a newborn before, you know how much laundry you're going through with all the spit up and blowouts and whatever else. Grabbed two bags of these guys and one bag of the dish detergent. They are super fairly priced and they write really, really, really clean. So I love to see that we get the unscented ones. You can see all of the pasta that I have back here. I have two boxes of the Fusilli in the Jovial brand. You guys know we love the Jovial brand. It's just organic brown rice and water for the ingredients and they cook up really well. They don't get super mushy. They will like if you way overcook them, but I think that's with any pasta, even not gluten-free. We just love the texture. And my in-laws were in town for about two and a half weeks. We made this brand every time we had pasta and they were so shocked every time. They were like, we can't even tell this is gluten-free. I'm like, I know it's crazy good we love this stuff but I do tend to get two boxes of whatever every time just because they are only 12 ounces they're not 16 ounces if you are used to regular pasta they always come in 16 ounces so you may need to make a little more or add in more meat add in more sauce something like that so two boxes of the fusilli and four boxes of the penne the penne is my favorite because the sauce gets all inside and I love that you can see all the spices that I have out here. So these two are the Thrive Market Organic Fajita Seasoning. It comes in a pack of two. I have never tried the, like the fajita ones. That I said that really weird, the fajita ones. But I am going to make some chicken fajitas later this week. We love doing those in the crock pot. You can also do them on the, uh, in the oven. I was gonna say the, say the stove top, which I guess you could do that as well. We're gonna try this fajita seasoning mix and see if we like it. We got five of these taco seasonings. Oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> this taco seasoning is quickly my favorite. So I was loving the Trader Joe's one and then I kind of got over it and didn't really wanna have tacos that much because I wasn't loving the seasoning. It was just a little bit too spicy for me. This is like mild, super mild, but it's just the taco flavor. I don't know, I love it. It's so good and if you wanted it to be spicy, just add in some red pepper flakes, add in some hot sauce or add in some kind of cayenne pepper. That would all do the trick, but I love that it's super mild because then Logie Bear likes to eat it too. Honestly, I probably should have grabbed double of that because we eat tacos like twice a week. Next up, I have the Good Crisp Outback Barbecue Potato Crisp. I almost was about to call Thrive and be like, ah, oh, you forgot some of mine. I actually just forgot to order more than one of these. And had I have been thinking, I would have ordered like four or five because Derek loves these. They're basically Pringles, but with way better ingredients. And I love the flavor. He says the Pringles come with a little bit more flavor on them, but he gets really, really, really sick after eating Pringles. So it's worth it to just have a little less flavor. I think these are fine. Back here, we also have some Beanfields chips. I got the nacho kind this time and the jalapeno nacho. We've loved both of them. Pico de Gallo is also great. The jalapeno lime is good too if you're super into lime stuff. I'm not super into lime stuff, so it wasn't my favorite. I love the jalapeno nacho though. Anyways, great ingredients on this guy. It's basically a chip just made with beans and rice. I feel good if like Logie Bear wants to have chips. I hand him a bag of these and I know he's getting a lot of fiber in there. Speaking of like chips and pretzels and stuff like that, we also grabbed a bag of the whole grain sea salt pretzel twist by Quinn. We love this brand. I think their pretzels taste really normal, which is hard to find in a gluten-free brand. So, and they also have pretty dang good ingredients in them as well. So I grabbed a bag of the pretzel twists and then also the pretzel sticks just for a little bit of variety. Back behind those chips, I also grabbed two bags of these Dandies vegan marshmallows. We love these guys. I think they have a great texture to them. They're super easy to melt down and make for Rice Krispies, which is exactly what I got them for. I usually use two bags 
for every batch of Rice Krispies just because we like ours really marshmallowy. And they're definitely the best price I've ever found on Thrive. I do love that because the boys also really like to eat these for a snack. Also, if you were making that like popcorn trail mix that I talked about for like the popcorn and movie night with the Himalayan sweetness one, you could add in some marshmallows. That's always Logan's favorite part. I also grabbed four bags of these Unreal Dark Chocolate Covered Peanuts right here. They're basically peanut M&Ms. And as you can see, we have one bag left and that's because Loki Pear found them. I can't blame him completely though because I have been loving these for my breastfeeding snack. I always am craving something sweet when I'm breastfeeding, like specifically like candy sweet, not necessarily just fruit sweet. For the most part, I've been doing like apples and peanut butter, which has been great to curb the craving, but sometimes yeah, I just need some peanut M&Ms. Also grab two bags of this dark chocolate and peanut butter love crunch granola. I love granola. If I'm needing like a sweet snack, this is also one that I love to go to. I love the red berries one as well. This is new for us as well, but I thought it would be great while I'm breastfeeding and I'm hoping Loggy Bear likes it as well, but I'm not holding my breath. I feel like he's not going to. These are seaweed snacks in just the sea salt kind by Thrive Market. Apparently they have a teriyaki kind. I might be misspeaking, but I'm pretty sure they have a teriyaki kind as well. And people said that they love that too. So I'll let you know how we like these guys. I'm hoping they're really good. It would be great for breastfeeding for extra nutrients. Back here, we have more of these Enjoy Life mini cookies, the chocolate chip ones. They also come in like a brownie kind. Logan doesn't really like the brownie kind. I do personally, I think they taste great, but he's just not real into like Ch too chocolatey of stuff. So anyways, they come in like little snack packs, which are great for on the go. If you need your kiddos to eat something and you're just like, please eat anything. These might be a great snack for you guys. This is something that is new for us. It's the organic mama chia chia squeezes. They are a vitality snack. Anyways, I've had the mama chia drinks before. If you guys have ever had those, they're in like a glass bottle and they're pretty small, but they're actually very filling because they're filled with chia seeds. This is something that you could easily make yourself as well, but I thought these would be great for a breastfeeding snack for me, especially if Logie Bear doesn't like them. We grab them in the wild raspberry and they're just pouches. So these ones are the pouches and they're basically like the drink, but in a pouch. We also got a thing of chomps. So if you guys have heard me talk about these in my past few Thrive Market hauls, you know that we actually like the Thrive Market brand of this stuff better. They were out of stock this time. So the boys still like the chomps. The Thrive Market one is just a lot easier to chew, which means it's a lot easier for Logan to eat. So I just grabbed a small box of these and I'm hoping that the Thrive Market brand comes back in stock real soon. Also grabbed these Lara Bar Kids Bakes. They're in the cinnamon swirl. I shared these with you guys last time. We already went through them all. And by we, I mean me. I am the one who is eating them. These are perfect for a little snack while I'm breastfeeding. It's just a bar about this size and the ingredients are great. There's only nine ingredients and they're gluten-free, dairy-free, all the good stuff. And they taste really good. They taste like a cinnamon coffee cake. We got some cereal this time, which is a little different for us. We typically don't grab cereal, but I grabbed these peanut butter panda puffs. They're by Nature's Path Organic and Viro Kids. I'm sure you've seen these on the shelves at your local grocery store, but they're a lot cheaper on Thrive. Wanted to go ahead and try these. Hopefully Logie Bear likes them because they could even be a great snack in a little Ziploc bag or a Tupperware or anything like that on the go. I don't know why, but I have been craving chocolate. What are, what would these be called? Like chocolate rice krispies, but they have like a different name, but what would these be called? No, but the chocolate, the chocolate kind. Leave it in the comments down below if you know what these are called. <laughs> but this is just a better brand. We love the One Degree Foods. I love their oatmeal because it is completely gluten-free and it's sprouted, but this is the gluten-free sprouted brown rice cacao crisp. I was thinking with this, we could either just eat it as cereal or like a little snack or something, but we could also use it for Rice Krispie treats if we wanted to kind of shake things up. And lastly, we have just the regular sprouted brown rice crisps. We added these into our Rice Krispies last time that I made them and they were fabulous. They were so good. They were the best I've ever had. So I used one entire box of this. I used, I think it was a fourth a cup of butter and then two the two dandies bags of marshmallows and they came out so marshmallowy and so good. Alrighty, you guys, that is it from me and Miss Isla today. We are done with our Thrive Haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for being here. We love you all so much. Hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Bye.